The show meant everything to me. It's everything you work for, and it's a dream realized, and it's a, it's a life recaptured. I couldn't believe the scope of what we had created in that moment. I took a look at the stage and the orchestra was out there and I was like, this has never happened before in my life. This is exactly what I dreamt could happen. And here it is, and here's everybody. And where did it, where did it all come from? The lights went out on my dreams for a while, but they came back on that night. And they came on brighter than they had ever been on. And with more color and more everything, it was you know, explosive for me, explosive inside. I think what we captured at the concert with those cameras was not some kind of a overly rehearsed, highly funded sort of Okay, we know this is gonna, you know, really be a big hit if we do it like this. This is just me trying to get my act back together, trying to get my life together, man. I had everything riding on this. I mortgaged my house to do this, man. I like maxed out my credit cards, and it wasn't some big promoter company from New York telling me, okay, Billy, it's okay if you do that. I told myself it was okay to do this. And and here's what you can do when you believe in yourself and give yourself permission and and the results you know what they speak for themselves you know i was completely addicted to writing music for guitar and touring and playing and i did a lot of it for years and years and made a name for myself within my niche and came down with focal dystonia which really robbed me of my ability to play my instrument. It robbed me of my opportunity to stay connected to my purpose and my meaning in life that I have still a real belief in that my purpose and meaning is a lot to do with the music and creating harmony and hopefully creating harmony with people through the audiences that I play for. And to be disconnected from what you love to do and kind of disconnected from your purpose and your meaning from this disease, you know, it's Focal dystonia hits a lot of musicians and they try to hide it and I tried to hide it and eventually you also have to get out of your denial and face it and it's not a pretty process all the time and there's some not so pretty times for me but it forces you to reconnect with the reason you are doing your music in the first place and if you can find that initial reason and reconnect with it, which is what I had to do, and I thank God for it. Um, I think you can come back with an even more mature approach for where you're going to go. You know, you start off your career as a younger person and you go, okay, I'm going to go this way. And for me now, I've had it all end and I've reconnected with what I want to do. And I, I don't want to go like here. I want to go everywhere and with everybody. I know and with everyone I love and with all the sounds I hear and I'm going to you know I believe I can I believe I can do it to play music again is a miracle and I'm so lucky